So the Bible reading is coming from the book of Ezekiel 37, verse 26 to, 20, uh, to 28. So it reads, I will give you a, a new heart and put a new spirit in you, and I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of uh, flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and uh, be careful to keep my laws then you will live in the land i gave you i give you i gave your ancestors and you will be my people and i will be your god so what does the bible actually trying to say here because uh the other day god was actually telling me to say liz as you are reading the word of god this this book i've given unto you it has to transform you it has to change you. It has to penetrate inside your heart so that it can bring the new you. You cannot talk about me and yet you are actually living in sin and doing things that are contrary to what I want. So uh, I, I just thought of uh, sharing to say God is holy and uh, even his worshippers must worship him in truth and in spirit. So meaning that we cannot... Uh, stand in the presence of god and say god i love you and yet we are not willing to obey his commands and the commands are coming from his word so god was actually telling me to say i want to give you a new heart i want to change you i want you to speak about me but before you speak i want you to do what my word is saying and I know to say there's somebody out there who has been actually having the desire to talk about God. You have the desire to say, I want to be a blessing to others. We can be a blessing in so many ways. Maybe you are helping the poor, you are doing certain things. And those things, you should never forget that there are people that you are inspiring. So if you want to inspire, do you want to inspire people to do what is bad? Because there are two things that are involved. It's only about God and, and the devil. So if you want to inspire people doing what is wrong, then meaning that you're going to be the disciple of the devil. And if you want to actually inspire people to do what is right, then meaning that you're going to be the disciple of God and you will lead others to Christ. So God, actually, I'm, I never shared with you before. I know time is coming when I'm going to actually stand and, and share with you how God has actually transformed my life and how God has actually started to to manifest himself in me and actually to change a certain kind of things, the way I've used certain things, the way I, uh, it's just something, you know, when you are baptized by the Holy Spirit, there must be certain kind of changes that comes. You get to have the conviction of your heart, whereby even though you are doing something, you feel like you can never stop it, God will actually allow you to stop it. So I, I felt like I should share with you to say, when God touches you, indeed, there must be change and we must be willing to adapt. We must be willing to work with him because you cannot say, I want to work with God. And yet your heart is so hard to let go of certain kind of things that the Lord does not want. Um, the, uh, God actually gave me a verse, which actually brought a lot of transformation in me and also a turning around. Uh, mostly for those people who knew me, I'm sure you, you are able to see, to say there is something that is actually changing in Liz and of which uh, I've been praying about it and I've been saying, God, I want to know more about you. So he gave me the book of uh, James chapter 4. This verse, actually, when I woke up that day, I remembered about it and I cried to God and I said, God, if this is you, let your will be done. I am ready. The moment I just said I am ready to turn away from sin, to come out of the things that are not pleasing before you, that was the time I felt the presence of God actually manifesting. I felt it and I started walking in the will of God. Not my will. I know there are so many times people might say, how do I know that this is the will of God and also this is my will? Because you only start to move according to the will of God, when you give yourself to God, you repent of your sins and you allow God to do things, not you, but Him. 
Meaning that he gives you a new heart. He gives you new desires. He gives you everything around you have to change because there is no way you can say, God has touched me. He has baptized me with the Holy Spirit. He has given me a new heart. And yet you, do, you don't want to forgive. Yet you don't want to move in patience. Yet you don't want to be actually occupied by the fruit of the spirit because the fruit of the spirit they have to be in you you need to have kindness so there is no way you can say i've been baptized by the holy spirit and yet your heart is so hard you don't have a feeling for others god started giving me visions of which i've been writing i write a lot of uh of dreams um i have uh, books for, for for my dreams all these books are full of uh, are full of uh, dreams uh, the other one i've started now the new one and i'm gonna find time to start sharing i'm i'm sure god's time is the best so god started giving me visions and all these things so i want to tell somebody i know there are people who say i want god to use me i want god to do something not until you say yes that's when god will start actually using. And not until you say no because when you go in the book of james chapter 4 it says uh, um, let me just read it so that uh, you can actually have it. I'm going to share with you. My Bible is torn. I have ordered the new one. So uh, my baby, you know, I have a baby in this house. So James chapter 4, actually, verse, um, uh, I, I had to read the up to verse 9. But uh, I want to give you just um, verse uh, 8. Or verse 7 and 8, he says, Submit yourself then Dad. to God, resist the Dad. devil, and he will flee from you. Come Dad. near to God, and he will come Dad. near to you. Dad. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify um, your hearts, you double-minded. Meaning that if you do not submit yourself fully to God, the devil will make you to be a puppet. What do I mean when I say a puppet? He makes you to submit to his devices. Because when you go in the book of Ephesians, it talks about that we are not fighting against that. What's his loss with you? So when you go in the book of, uh, of uh, Ephesians, it says we are not fighting against the spirit. We are, we are not fighting the flesh. We are fighting against the spirit. Meaning that the devil has got schemes. And these are things that we do not know. We are blind because the devil blinds us. He doesn't want to see. He doesn't want us to see to say what we are doing is wrong. And yet we are doing them and knowing it, and some of the things we do them knowing it because we lack the word of God. The word of God needs to transform us. My baby is here. Here, get this. Yeah. The word of God needs to transform us. It needs to build us. It needs to bring a lot of change. And we need to obey the word of God. So we cannot say we love God, excuse me, and yet we are not ready to obey. When you study the word of God, the word of God is telling you to say, don't do this. And yet you say, no, I can do this. But since God is interested in the heart. No, God is interested in everything about you. When you say you want to walk with God, he wants to transform you. He wants you to be the new creation. You need to be dead to sin and to become alive in a new. Meaning that the old you needs to be dead. The old you was about pride, unforgiveness, oh, unbelief, all these kind of spirits that needs to leave you. You need now to start now adjusting. You have to adjust on certain kind of things, meaning that God anoints you. And when you have the anointing of God, you're going to actually do things. Even though somebody opposes, they do not oppose you. They are opposing he who has called you, he who has anointed you, he who has actually put his spirit in you. They are not fighting you. If somebody comes and wants to fight you, you don't have time to answer them. You don't have time to, to fight against them because you understand he who has anointed you. My baby wants attention here. Nyam, 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 nyam. So I'm going to end here. I, I believe uh, you're going to be blessed by these uh, uh, verses that I've shared with you with time. I, I believe God will actually give me time whereby I can share. just wanted to share a little uh, about what God was uh, saying, uh, the, the, the Bible verse. So I'm going to say bye.